question from a, from a student in the audience, uh, apparently a student of journalism. What advice do you have for minority journalists like yourself fighting to get their foot in the door of our predominantly cis, white, straight, male news industry? <laughs> and then for representation once in. Yeah, so um, the news industry has changed a lot in my 20 years. And part of what I see when I look back is that when NPR was founded in 1971, Susan Stamberg was the first woman ever to anchor a nationally broadcast nightly news program. And when I arrived at NPR, I wasn't sure that there was a space in journalism broadly or NPR specifically for a person like me who cared about the world and valued human stories. And what I realized was that just as the founding mothers of NPR made the news business a place that could be welcoming to people like them, I didn't have to accept media as I saw it for what it was or expect that that was how it would always be. I thought I can be part of a generation of journalists that continues, not begins, but continues the evolution of journalism to be more inclusive and more representative. And one of the things that I think we have come to realize as newsrooms is that it matters who's sitting around that table in the morning when the All Things Considered staff is saying, what stories should we cover? If there's nobody sitting around that table who is a sports fan, we're not gonna be covering sports in a responsible way. And I'm deliberately choosing a sort of bland example there because the second thing I think we've realized is that there is no such thing as an absence of identity. And being a member of a marginalized group might allow you to see the scaffolding of society a little bit more clearly, but there is no such thing as the view from nowhere. And fish may not be aware of the water they swim in, but the water is real. And so my identity as a cis white male is as relevant to the way I see the world as my identity as somebody who's Jewish and gay. And so my advice to the journalism student who asked that question would be, if you don't see a place for yourself, make a place for yourself. And you don't have to accept the world as it is, you can help make the world what you think it ought to be. Yeah.